Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are facing crashing, freezing, black screen or fatal error with SD Gundam Battle Alliance game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this, just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem then. For Steam users, uncheck compatibility mode for Steam. Now I have provided extra steps for game pass users so if you bought the game on game pass then at the end of the video i will show you how to fix those problems now the next step is to uncheck compatibility mode for steam for this type in steam in windows search box and then make a right click on steam app and then click on open file location now make a right click on steam exe file then select properties go to compatibility tab and then uncheck the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for now if this is checked uncheck this box and then click on apply click on ok but before you do this make sure that you close steam first of all close steam and then uncheck the box and then restart steam and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 version so click on both the exe file run both the exe file so if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow now download the second file run this second file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now make sure both the installation are complete then restart your computer you will see the restart option once this is installed Make sure both the installation is complete, only then restart the computer. Now restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this go to steam, make a right click on the game, select manage then click on browse local file. It will, it will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, click on ok. Now launch the game, make a double click over here and then launch the game. Now also open this SD Gundam BA folder, make a open binaries win64, then again make a right click on the exe file over here, select properties compatibility put a check over here run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok now launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click on download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 open steam folder now open steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in e drive 
so open the steam folder steam apps common and then over here you will find the game folder open this game folder now select the game exe file then click on add once this is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then go to the sd gundam folder open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add now once the game is added over here click on options high performance save and now launch the game now the next step is to disconnect multiple devices so if you have external devices usb devices connected which you are not using disconnect these devices also if you have the software running close the software and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update your windows this is important go to the start menu then click on settings now go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings now click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go again go to the game installation folder open the steam folder steam apps common now open the game folder and then select the game exe file then click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps this time open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file then click on open once the game is added over here now launch the game now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings and then click on allow another app now click on browse again go to the game installation folder open steam folder steam apps common open the game folder select the game exe file then click on open once this is added over here click on add over here in my case this is already added now again click on browse open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file then click on open again click on add over here now once this is added now click on ok on the bottom now launch the game now the next step is to close all the overlay applications so if you have first of all for steam user disable, disable steam overlay make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also if you have discord running close discord now if you have ge force experience running close ge force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer close msi afterburner if you have revert unit running close revert unit so close all the overclocking application also perform train boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here then click on disable all in my case this is grayed out i, I already did it in your case this would be highlighted so put a check over here first and then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok now restart your computer you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to launch the game in window mode if you are able to launch the game select window mode and then lower down graphic settings for this launch the game first now go to options and then go to game system then go to pc settings now over here select window mode so when i select window mode you might see a black screen do not please ignore that so select window mode now once you select window mode you can lower down the resolution you can also if everything is set to high you can select medium or low so you can also turn off the v-sync and then you can also turn off motion blur so try to make changes try to lower down graphic settings and then check now the next step is to uninstall the game 
if nothing is working you can uninstall the game make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after you uninstall delete the game folder from the game installation folder then restart your computer and after the system restart reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check now the rest of the steps are for xbox game pass users so if you bought the game from xbox app on your windows computer then make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer on the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time now make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically both are on over here then click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now and once this is done now launch the game also make sure right country is selected over here now the next step is to make sure you are logged in with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app so open microsoft store on your computer and make sure that you are logged in with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app so on microsoft store on the top right here you can see a profile icon click on it then click on sign out then click on sign in select the right account then click on continue it will be asking for your pino password over here so enter your pino password once logged in go to xbox app now click on your profile icon on the top left and then click on sign out now click on sign in sign in select the same account which you have selected on microsoft store so login with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app and then launch the game now the next step is to verify and repair for this go to xbox app in my case i have the game on steam i don't have the game on xbox app so i'm showing you as an example select sd gundam battle alliance game over here this is just an example i'm showing you with another game so make a right click on this game and then select manage and then go to files and then click on verify and repair click on yes now after the verification launch the game next step is to create a desktop shortcut and launch the game now now i don't have the game over here so i'm showing you with another game so make a right click right click on sd gundam game so make a right click and then click on manage now click on create a desktop shortcut now once you click on click on it now go to desktop here you can see the game this is just an example make a right click on sd gundam game and then click on run as administrator you will see an option run as administrator try launching the game as an administrator next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services now this is important copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this will uninstall gaming services once done now copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer and then you will see the install option to install gaming services so click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once gaming services is installed now launch the game next step is to run this powershell command this command is also provided in the video description copy this now type again type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command hit the enter key now this process will take some time it will install all the default windows app now during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see any error in red color just ignore it and let the process complete now once done close this window now restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to install all updates in microsoft store so open microsoft store on the bottom left here you can see library option click on library and then on the top right here you can see get updates option click on get updates once all the updates are installed restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to repair or reset the game and i'll show you with another game so go to the start menu then click on settings go to apps and then click on apps and features and then find the game this is just an example so find the game in the list now once i don't have any yeah 
Now, once you click on the game, this is just an example. You have to do this with SD Gundam game. So click on the game, then click on advanced option and then click on repair. And after the repair, launch the game. If that does not resolve the problem, click on reset, reset. Now, after the reset, you might see the install option on my on Xbox app. So you just close the Xbox app and then open the Xbox app once again and then you will see the play option. Now next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. For this again make a right click on the game and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall restart the computer and then reinstall the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get this game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.